why do we plant churches? Peter Wagner says that church planting's the greatest evangelistic mythology under heaven. And that's absolutely true in our in our experience that if we want to see the lost come into the kingdom if we're passionate about seeing people come to faith then we need to plant new churches if we want to see cities changed and impacted for jesus we need to plant churches tim keller's done some great research on this and he says that church plants are six to eight times more likely to see new people added to church than existing churches and so given that staggering statistic we sit there and think we need to be planting as many churches as we can. Now that doesn't mean that the existing church doesn't have a role. We need big churches that are gonna be church planting hubs that are gonna equip and train people for church planting. And big churches can be fantastic evangelistic as, evangelistically as well. I guess the challenge is the bigger that you get, the more resources you end up putting into the church and into the existing members and the less resources go into outreach. For instance, in, in a church planting situation and setting, when you arrive and there's two of you in a new city or 10 of you, there's this desperation of, if I don't invite somebody, nobody is going to come. When you're sitting in a church of 200, you always sit there thinking, oh, do you know what? They're going to invite somebody, aren't they? So there's that desperation to, to see people come to faith. And so we're passionate about planting churches because we want to see the lost come into the kingdom.